Oh god, it actually works. Did I just see a shark go to it? Holy shit, oh, oh no, that was a stingray. Is, is he dead? Oh, he is dead! I killed a stingray with a frag grenade! Get that Welcome back everybody to some more Stranded Deep. Now you might be looking at this front screen here and seeing something a little different. Yes, I do in fact have a very cool mod that's going to help us a lot with the building of this museum. Uh, this is going to be a huge project and I am going to use mods to help me because I don't want to have, you know, the same thing that we had before where it was four or five episodes of me just gathering trees. So I did download a map pack that gi that gives me access to every island that I explore. Now I do have to actually paddle to each island to use this and then I can actually teleport to said island. So as you can see we teleported to this one and you can rename all the islands as well. You can see this is my museum island. These ones I haven't named yet so once I mine them out I'm gonna rename them. You see pretty much everything on this map. You do see sea forts, you see all the shipwrecks as well so it's definitely gonna help me find the resources but not really give them to me. I still gotta actually do all the work so it's still going to be me doing it it's just this is definitely gonna help me a lot along the way and I don't know if I'm gonna be using this teleport mode too much. So yeah I thought I would show that if you guys do want this mod it will be in the description below it is definitely helpful if you are doing any huge projects in this game um, and it's a lot easier than getting lost a lot of the time as well so let's get into it Starting to build the museum as well as looking for a lot of the materials that we need um, for this museum. So yeah, here we go. Stranded Deep once again. So if you missed last episode, we did have a very good first run. We did get two of the Easter eggs as well as some hard to find items like the binoculars and a lot of buckets for some reason and a lot of engines. Uh, I pretty much got to get a stockpile of everything. So that's all I'm really going to do for this episode is look around, explore and have some fun. Okay, I'm actually seeing a sea turtle down there. That is one thing that we're going to need. So, let's go get him. And, uh, oh wow, there's actually a, a pancake as well. Okay, Elite Learn Artist, come here buddy. I just need to get you real quick before I die. Okay, there we go. Wow, this ground looks really weird. Oh god, I'm scared. It's really deep here. Uh, but that ground looks really weird compared to like what you usually see in Stranded Deep. So that's kind of odd. We did get our... Official turtle though, so that's good. We are going to co collect all the animals in this game. I feel bad I'm like just kind of mining out the actual animals in this game, but hey anything for a, a museum I guess oh God, there's a Bruce actually out here. I don't know if I should really attack them yet I would like a machete. I don't think I kept any of them I don't actually know what does the most damage an axe might just do as much damage. Uh, I guess we'll try it. Oh, man Problem is, I can't even see him until he's right on. Oh, God, I don't like sharks. Hello, where the fuck are you? Oh, there he is. I see him. I can see his little head, his little bastard head. Hold on. Let me get some air here. All right. All right, buddy. Let's let's let, let's tangle, my friend. He, he, I'm going to keep to the side of him. Uh, as long as I keep to the side of him, I should be okay. The tiger sharks are not as aggressive as they used to be, as you can clearly see. That was actually extremely easy. I'm kind of depressed about that. Uh, we, we might have to kill a few more just for fun, but we didn't. <laughs> we got our tiger shark as well. Um, the big one, obviously, is going to be the marlins and the great white. The tiger sharks are still quite easy in this game, so I'm not too worried about them. I am going to pretty much mine out this island as well really quickly here because we're going to have, we're going to take, pretty much take this whole island for the museum. That's my plan anyways. So I'm going to need to get rid of all the trees, everything on this island. The only thing that's going to be on here is essentially sand and building. <laughs> okay, I did quick work of that with, of course, the glitch. I pretty much took down all the trees. There's still a few small ones here. But uh, we're going to have a lot of coconuts, and there's actually a lot of trees on this island, so we should be okay for starting out the base of our uh, museum with just this wood. I don't even really need to go anywhere. In retrospect, maybe I should have just kept one palm tree just for that, you know, tropical island flair. Now it just kind of looks like a sad island, but you know what? It's going to look good when, once we get the building on here. Just right now, it's kind of looking pretty dull. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I got a logging company. If you ever wanted to see what it looked like to have an island of downed trees, this is what it looks like. There's actually a lot of wood on this island, so I'm really excited for that. 
Uh, we're gonna start building our base here. I don't actually have SD Tweaks installed, which is the building mod, so I'm gonna have to pretty much combat all these rocks and everything right now until he updates his mod to the current build. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to build today. Today's gonna be more exploring and gathering than anything, but I do want to start out on the base of the building as well. <laughs> I feel like a damn lumberjack. I'm not, I, <laughs> I've been doing this for five minutes, and there's just it's, there's no ending to it. It's not. <laughs> So much here. My axe is finally broken, so I'm just gonna throw a few things in here. That should be enough to build another one. Um, maybe not. Okay, I did cut the lashings in preparation for this, so where the hell did they go? Um, oh, they're up here. Okay, so it takes a few of these. Uh, I think there's some over here as well. I don't. Th I don't. What, what else do I need? I just need a few rocks and some lashings, right? I think that's all I. I haven't made an axe in a while now. It's been a while since I actively played Stranded Deep, and I apologize for that. A lot of things have happened lately, and there we go. Got my axe, uh, and I haven't been playing it too much. But we're gonna get back into it now. I'm definitely feeling it with this new mod. It's gonna make it a lot easier on myself, so I'm excited for that. <laughs> okay, four axes and a day later, I have. Pretty much covered my land in resources. I guess that's a good thing. I'm not going to actually start building yet. I do want to explore a bit in this episode, so yeah. That was kind of fun, and now I'm starving to death. Great. Alright, since we're starving to death, I probably should make a little luau now, or I guess a cookery. Uh, oh, you can make fish traps. I forgot about that. Uh, we're going to build a campfire. Oh, I can't get rid of these when I start doing it, so i got to figure out where I want to have my, my my cookery essentially that's not going to be in the way of the museum I guess over right here looking out at this shipwreck that will be nice so we'll do that and then we just need to make a foundation base with my hammer and we will have another cookery set up and this does lag me by the way when I get over here oh my god why is it all white that's new um they used to be blue didn't they <laughs> it's been a while since I played but I swear they were blue last time Okay, now we just need to put this as low as possible on this. Perfect. There we go. A nice little cookery stand. Um, so we can cook some of those lobsters, or sorry, crabs that are all over the place over here. I always feel bad doing this, but you know what? Crabs are the easiest things to kill to survive. So, you know what? If they want to chill on my island while I'm stomping around here, I, I, I think they're dumb enough to die. So, I guess they're really the best thing to kill and eat. Ah, the old crab bungholes, how I've missed you. Dude, 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 crabs actually- crabs don't actually live in, like, holes like they- like ants do, right? Like, is this an actual thing? I thought crabs just lived alone. I'm just envisioning now an island bunghole with millions of crabs coming out of it, and that's honestly the most horrifying thing I've ever thought of. And I've never been scared of crabs, but now I kinda am. And now I just realized that I dropped my lighter over here somewhere. <laughs> and it's gonna be kind of hard to find if it's not in this general. Oh, thank God, it's right there. I I've had so many l lighter issues in this game. They need to make a huge lighter for idiots like me that drop it everywhere. That way I can find it easily. I'm getting really hungry really quickly here. Um, but we do got 21 crabs here, so that's gonna be good. Um, try and get as many on here as we can. Oh, I'm dropping them on the ground now. Doesn't really matter. There we go. That's a good spot to start spamming them. That's that's 21. I thought that was way less than 21. Anyways, let's start the fire here. And cook me some crab. That didn't start it. Come on. Come on. Please. There we go. Yummy. Alright, we'll throw the rest up here. And we should have a bunch of crabs dinging any time now. I pretty much realize everything I do in this game now is not meant to be done in the game. Like, you're supposed to cook one thing at a time. And I'm cooking 21 crabs at a time. I pretty much speed chopped a tree. That, that's another glitch. I have a mod that's telling me where I need to go. I, I'm pretty much easy moding this as a survival game these days, but you know what? I've already done the survival aspect. Now it's time to build crazy things and not die. Ah! Oh my god, that's so loud now. Oh god, there's gonna be a bunch coming off. Here we go. Oh, it was just because I was close to it. Oh, it's a proximity ding now. It's not just a ding anywhere. Interesting. Okay, I know I'm hungry. I, I should probably find. Uh oh. Um, there, there's a cooked crab. Let's eat that guy. I didn't know I was thirsty either. Oh my god, shut up! Okay, I, 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 I gotta go get... Wait, that's my health. Oh my god, I almost died from starvation. <laughs> that would have been a great start to the series. Okay, let's eat these up really quickly. Okay, our prime goal still is uh, finding the Wilson. That's gonna be the hardest thing to find. Oh my god, the leg here is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, the prime goal is definitely Wilson, because uh, that's gonna be... That's really the only Easter egg I think we have left. 
And obviously the Easter eggs are the rarest items in the game. Therefore, I should be focusing on finding them before I do anything else, because if I can't find the Easter eggs, there's no sense having a museum with the most common items. So yeah, we're, we're gonna go to some of these islands that are close to me that I haven't explored. Anything with a, just a generic square is an island that's some, that is something I haven't explored. You can see my, my route I took on my way here. I probably started on this island and then went down this way until we found this one. Um, and then it's just showing you other islands that I've seen in the distance, but I haven't went to yet. So this is a really cool mod and definitely very helpful. If you don't really like the exploration aspect of the game, but you do want to still have a survival aspect of the game. Oh, please don't tell me this island's better than mine. I mean, look at that. I might have to move everything over here if this one's better. Because that white spot looks really friggin' nice right now with that one palm tree. See, it takes a while for everything to load in. There is a few rocks on this island. I don't think it's that big of an island. I think it's actually two islands. Um, there's a potato plant. Pretty damn nice. Yeah, it is two islands. Pretty damn neat island, though. I haven't seen many like this. Uh, but definitely not better than mine, I don't think. We're going to just check here for any Wilsons that are hanging about. And then uh, keep moving on. Yeah, definitely not seeing any Wilsons here. A lot of crabs, though. This is like a little crab island. Kind of like it. There is a treasure chest over here, though, so let's check this out. See what this has in it. Oh, I always forget which side it opens up on. Flashlight, I don't think we have that. Oh yeah, Torch is now permanently equipped. Didn't I already have that? So I'm not going to be able to get a flashlight because it just keeps saying Torch is now permanently equipped. Uh, which kind of sucks. Maybe I can spawn it in via other methods that aren't actually in the game. But uh, I don't want to do that, but if I have to, I do want to showcase the torches and everything as well. Oh god. Well, I guess we can technically keep going since I have a map now. Uh, the fog is still really freaky. Because you can see way further into the, the ocean when it's foggy for some reason. I don't, I don't really get that, but you can. And um, I don't like seeing into the ocean. I have a serious fear of deep waters. I tend to look like this when I'm not recording, so you guys don't really see that. I just want to see as little of the water as possible because... Anything below me freaks me out, and you see these little fish swimming around? Not fun. Oh god, there is so many Like, look at that! All those blue things are fish! These guys up here are little anchovies. Like, there's just a serious amount of wildlife in this game. You don't really realize it until it's foggy out. Anyways, we're coming up on another island here. Again, just island hopping, looking for Wilsons. I don't know if we'll find one today. Uh, but we're gonna find some shipwrecks as well while we're doing this, so it's not really wasting any time because we do need to jump island to island until we find that damn Wilson regardless. What the fuck is that? Oh, a boat just loaded it. Okay. I saw things floating in the sky. I thought that I was losing my mind. Oh man, have I seen this wreck yet? That's a really cool looking wreck here. Oh god. I don't have too much health though. I gotta be very careful uh, for, of course, Bruce's around here. A toolbox. Is that a fucking grenade? What? What? Did... When did they add that? I, I'm not, I did not mod that in. I don't know if this mod has that. I really want to use this, but I should probably keep... Is this... I'm confused. Why Why am I holding a frag grenade in Stranded Deep right now? Did... Am I missing something? Did I miss an update? Well, guys, I found something I never expected in the game. A fucking frag grenade. Uh, maybe they are going to add weapons in this game. Wouldn't that be cool to have, like, a Stranded Deep FPS? I think that'd be kind of fun. You know, a survival-based FPS on islands. There is a toolbox over here, too, but I'm having trouble swimming, and I'm scared of Bruce's around here. Come on, please open that. What is this? This looks different, too. Oh, it's goggles! Okay, wow, we're finding a lot of weird shit today. Um, well, go goggles aren't weird. You can see further in the water, which is actually helpful. But uh, they're v a very rare spawn as well, so I'm getting really lucky. And I found a fucking frag grenade. I've really got to go to the wiki here. Wait, what, what does that say? Um, I want to read it. Awesome. For fragging. Oh, God, I want to try this thing so bad right now. But I know I need it for the museum. So this thing does actually have a spawner in it as well. This is the mod. I'm not going to use this for gathering any items. But I do want to spawn in another Easter egg called Frag Grenade. There's a lot more Easter eggs than you actually... I, well, I, I knew of. So I guess we're going to be having to find like AK-47s and shit as well. Um, but I'm gonna spawn in a frag grenade just because I want to use one to see if it actually goes off. Now, I'm not gonna do that to spawn in anything for the museum. We're gonna find everything in the world itself, but 
I got a frag grenade. You gotta try it out. So let's go. Oh god, it actually works. Did I just see a shark go to it? Holy shit! Oh, oh no, that was a stingray. Is, is he dead? Oh, <laughs> he is dead. I killed a stingray with a frag grenade. Oh my god, that I was expecting like a bigger explosion, but still, I saw a stingray fly right to it, and he freaking died. Oh my god, I gotta bring you back. Like, I I have to kill. I have to put the stingray in the museum that I killed with a friggin' frag grenade, but I don't know how I'm gonna bring, bring it back, because it still probably weighs this down, doesn't it? Let's see here. Yeah, um... You know what I can do? Oh, I feel like it's shitty, but you know what? I, I think people will appre- Well, if I hold it, and open my map, and then... Okay, I just gotta remember where I am. Okay, so we are currently at this island. Let's go back to this island. Am I still holding it? No, I'm not. Okay, le well, that didn't work out. I guess we're just gonna have to leave Pancake here until I can figure out a way back. I mean, I could swim back with it, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rename this island Pancake, and we're gonna get it back somehow, damn it. Okay, island numbers, lots of numbers and stuff. We're gonna call Pancake Splo... I can't type today. Splosion. That didn't even spell it right, but that's all right. Pancake Splosion is on this island. We are gonna get you back, my friend, because you died to a grenade. You should be remembered. That's amazing. Can I rename you? I don't think I can with this mod. Oh! Oh god! Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> that was such a delay! Oh my god, that is so fun, though. I, I didn't mean to waste my other grenade. I'm going to have to spawn in another one, because I probably won't find another one anytime soon. Oh my god, it leaves like a smoke trail and everything. Where's my raft? Did I, did I blow up my raft? Um... Uh-oh. I think... I think I blew up Old Yellow. I can't find... <laughs> what the fuck? Where did I... Where did I put it? I think I blew up Old Yellow. I'm, I'm stuck on here now. Well, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta man up and bring Old Stingray with you. I, I blew this poor guy up twice now. I think it's time to bring him home. And that is swim home in the dark, creepy waters. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm, I might die here. You know what? Maybe I should save the game, just in case I die. I'm not. You know, this isn't a survival episode of uh, Stranded Deep or survival series. This is more make a museum and have fun. Uh, do you want to save over your existing save? Yes. So we're gonna try and swim back. I don't like doing this. I have a fear of deep waters, so this is the worst thing for me. But you know what? In the in the name of this pancake. That blew up by two grenades now. I need to have him part of the museum. That is just an amazing story. I don't see any fins. This is looking... Uh-oh. Am I hearing things? No, I'm not. Okay. I don't see any fins yet, so that's a good sign. Oh, God. What is that? What the fuck? Is, 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 is that a rock? What? What is... Oh, God. I'm scared. Okay. I saw, I saw something under the water. Um, we did make it to the first island. We still got to do one full island jump until we get home. But Pancake is halfway home right now. And I'm freaking hungry, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty damn hungry, so I should probably eat up here before we leave. You know, you know, it's funny with Stranded Deep. I always worry that, you know, episodes are going to get boring and, you know, this series is going to get dull. Because I've done 40 episodes of Stranded Deep, and it's an early access title without much content. But I always get myself in predicaments that are so abnormal and awesome that... You know, it makes for entertaining content. I love doing this game still after 40 episodes, and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well, because this game is truly amazing, and there is never a dull moment on it for me. Um, I, I know it's slowed down on the channel a bit, and I apologize for that, but there's been other series as well that I've had to focus on, and I just don't want to, you know, flood you guys with one series over another. So Stranded Deep, of course, is still going to be... A staple of my channel. It's never changed that way, and I, I don't know. I just want to talk about it right now. So again, thanks for all your support on this series. I hope you guys are still enjoying it. This museum is going to be really fun to do. I mean, we've already had an exploding pancake, f fr f finding friggin' frag grenades, finding a bunch of Easter eggs. I, I don't know. I, I'm just having a great time with it, and I thank you guys all for all your support and watching it. Oh, well... I think that was my axe breaking. Yep, I have nothing left. So I guess I gotta eat these four coconut halves and keep going here. 
Uh, that's not gonna fill me up, I don't think, so I'm not gonna heal either. Of course, one bar until I start healing. So we are leaving once again with one bar. Great. That means if I get hit by a shark, I'm pretty much dead. I have lost my pancake? Where the fuck- <laughs> I lose everything, I swear! Where is- where's my pancake? I have lost him. Oh my god, there you are. Okay. I have found Pancake. We did not lose him. It's, day it's daytime as well, finally. Uh, I just gotta figure out where we are here. So we are at Node Island, so we're looking the wrong way. We gotta go to Museum, which is on the other side here. And hopefully we don't see any Bruces, because, again, we have no health rate. Well, we have one bar of health. That's not really gonna do much when there's a shark biting you. Alright, Pancake, let's go. Um, it's looking like it's- yeah, it's this island right here. I don't see any fins in the water, that's a good sign. Um, Godspeed, it's the morning time, we can watch the sunrise at least, that's kinda nice. But, I can't really see much in front of me, so if there is a fin in front of me, I can't see it. And that kinda sucks as well. Oh god, I don't wanna look down. Okay, oh uh, no, I don't like blue water. Okay, just keep going. I can't believe I lost yellow. Like, I- I'm, I'm gonna have to look at the footage to see, like, maybe I left it somewhere weird on the island, but... I lost yellow. I need yellow for the museum, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. But, there, it's gotta be somewhere. Just had to explode it into the air, and it's just in the middle of the ocean somewhere, I'm going to assume. I'm gonna hope, anyways. I hope I didn't actually break it. Like, I don't know if it- oh, wow, okay. That actually lagged me quite a bit. But yes, our island has loaded. We're almost home with the exploding pancake, as we're going to call it. Oh, man. I didn't think I'd ever- oh, god, is that a shark? Uh, there's something hanging out of the water there. I don't know if that's a shark or a shipwreck. I think it's a shipwreck, but I still don't trust it. Never trust a shady shipwreck. Okay, it looks like my fire's still on. You can kind of see the smoke from it. And amazingly, Bruce's did not bother us through that whole journey. We have brought the exploding pancake back home. What an eventful episode, if you think about it. I killed a Bruce, I found a fucking grenade, and speaking of that, I'm gonna have to spawn in another one because I... Accidentally blew it up. I got an exploding pancake. I mined out this whole freaking island. I mean, I love episodes like this, and I hope you guys do as well. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, this is just a quick message thanking you for watching my video. I hope it gave you literally minutes of enjoyment. If you want to see more, I've added playlists and videos like this one at the top right of your screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or directly support me, all my social media and Patreon links are in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.